Hey, Matthew Swinnerton here, and I am with... Mike Flynn. Yes, Mike Flynn. And what is your podcast? It's called The Impact Entrepreneur Show. It's a show where we talk to entrepreneurs about their, their impact moments and how they've turned those moments into platforms where they're now having a game-changing impact on the lives of others. I'm going to get right into it. Why, what is your podcast different? Like this, you know, it's for entrepreneurs. There's a lot of podcasts for entrepreneurs. Yeah. I mean, that's like probably like 80% of them, but yours has a very unique, I guess, um, angle to it. Why is yours different than others? So we're all a series of stories of impact moments that we've, we've had throughout our life. And far too many of us aren't taking advantage of them and we're not listening to them or we're not responding to them. We're, we're kind of like um, a pinball and a pinball machine, <laughs> just like pinging around all over the place. Just sort of being re- reactive. Just being super reactive. Yeah. But, but we have the power of choice, right? If we, we have uh, more ability, more technology, more research, more everything today than we've ever had about self-awareness. And if we are aware enough to pay attention to those moments and the inflection points in our life, then we can grab the bull by the horn and turn those into opportunities nice. and and not see them as moments of adversity, but moments of opportunity and use that momentum to change lives. So what is your moment? Like, what was your moment that made you think? Because I, I feel like you've been working on this podcast. How long has the podcast been actually uh, up in than, the world? A little more than two years. Okay, two years. You didn't start it two years ago. No. It was years ago. I remember talking to you. Yeah. Probably like my first met you. It was probably the first conversation we had was about it. And that could have been like five or six years ago at least. Yeah, it was, it was definitely quite a while ago. It's d- definitely been something that's been percolating inside of me for a long time. And I finally just said, you know what? Screw it. I've, I've, I've got to do it. I mean, yeah. like that's the thing. Like, people are always waiting for the right opportunity, the right time, the right, and the time is now, yeah. right? And so I just said, you know, I have no monetization goals <laughs> for this thing. I just want to, I want to launch a podcast. I want to get my story out there. I want to get other people's stories out there, and I want to do things a little bit differently. It's not a how-to show. Mm-hmm. It's not a show on how to grow your business to seven figures in 18 months or less, <laughs> you know? I mean, I certainly do have elements of how to involved in the show. Like my most recent guest is an expert at creating vivid visions for your business. And so there's a little bit of how to in that sense, but not, not in the traditional, like, you know, how to, how to grow your business. Yeah. It's, it's really about how to grow you and how to tap into your full, full potential and how to unlock that potential more importantly. Why is that? Why is that so important to you? I feel like that's like that's not just in this podcast. That's you talking to everybody you know. Like I'm, I feel very comfortable telling you, like, hey, this is what I'm interested in. This are like the goals I have. Um, this is what I like to do. You seem like a person that's like you're. You're that way for everybody. You want them to untap their their goals and reach what they can do. Yeah. Why is that important to you? I I believe the word believe means love, right? And it's so important to, for me, mm-hmm. to, to feel like I'm, like people believe in me. And I know that growing up, I had many, many instances throughout my childhood, many impact moments where people expressed disbelief in me in what I was capable of doing. And it really impacted me, mm-hmm. right? And I know that we've all had negative experiences in our mm-hmm. lives like that. And I feel like it's my job, like one of the reasons I've been put on this planet is to fix that, is to reach into people's souls and their mm-hmm. hearts and their mind and, re- and, and help them remember who they really are and what they're capable of achieving. And, and that's my life's mission. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you do a really good job at that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you know, God, you know, there's not that many people that I feel like, okay, I feel comfortable. I'm going to tell you what I'm working on, what I want to do, what are my goals. And I feel like, you know, you exude that, like, confidence and, like, sure, talk to me about it. Yeah. Well, we spend so much time settling, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, because we're whole, our whole life is about so- socialization. It's about being part of a group and being accepted by that group. And so as a result of that, whether it's our family or 
a business community or whatever. And as a result, we end up really settling and we end up adopting lies that, that we know not to be true about ourselves so that we can fit in. Right. And when I, I interviewed a, a guy named Dr. Jim Aphromau a couple, uh, you know, early on in the podcast, he's the peak performance coach for the San Francisco Giants. And his whole mission is to help people never settle for silver, you know, always go for the gold. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I actually aware that in this, this oh. bracelet, it says go for gold, don't settle for silver. And I made that after my conversation with him just as a reminder that we all have the ability to go for gold. And it, it's not about competing about, about, uh, against other people. It's about competing against ourselves. Yeah. We have a mirror image of ourselves running alongside us every day. And that is the only person you should be competing about against. Yeah. Nice. So what do you want to compete in, in your own self then? What, what's, what's like the next, what's like, what do you want to do in the next, you no, know, five years like I, yeah so you, i know you have something in yeah, there percolating yeah. always yeah so i uh, so i'm i'm finishing my book okay uh that's that's a big deal it's a parable um I, i'm not going to tell you the title <laughs> yet um and uh but i'm really excited about it mm -hmm. i think that it's going to have a big impact in, in other people's lives and remind them of who they are and what they're capable of doing and and how to unlock that potential that's that's a little that that's part of the title i'm not gonna yeah okay. uh, reveal the rest of it but um and then from there i've got uh one thing that that is coming that i will share is uh there's going to be a live event <clears throat> that i'm going to be doing um hopefully get your collaboration yes. there because you're the yeah. guru uh but it's called claim your purpose so i believe that part of remembering who we are all capable of what we're all capable of achieving is to remember that we are all born with a purpose that we it's not something we need to discover it's something that we need to claim and that we need to uh have a you know we need to regain a, a proper understanding of what purpose is right purpose isn't something that you you do purpose purpose is something you facilitate right you, your purpose is to facilitate something right I always, the analogy I give is that uh, many people are like a souvenir coffee mug with pens in it, right? Okay. It's doing something, mm. but not necessarily the right thing, okay. right? The purpose of a coffee mug mm. is to facilitate the transfer of a liquid beverage, hot, cold, alcohol, or non-alcohol from the cup <laughs> yeah. to That's my mouth, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so far too often, people end up because of the stories they've been told, they, they end up putting a pen in the coffee mug, in their coffee mug, instead of whatever it is that they're supposed to be doing. And so they walk around with this general sense of frustration, feeling like they're doing something, but not necessarily the right thing. Nice. So if you want to actually use your mug for the, the right purpose, you got to listen to this podcast. You got to listen. So where do we, where do you find out, you know, like where to sign up, subscribe to your podcast? Yeah. So we're available everywhere. Uh, podcasts are available. So iTunes, Stitcher, Google play. I think we're on Spotify now. Um, you know, online, of course, at the impact entrepreneur.net is the website. Is that probably uh, the best way to like, start off? You could, yeah. you can go there and <laughs> yeah. access all of them and mm -hmm. they'll redirect you to your various channels and then um you know i'm on social media at the impact mike and uh, i'm active on instagram primarily but also okay. facebook so all the links will be under this video for sure um mike thank you so much i yeah, always brother. enjoy talking to you absolutely okay hey i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and you want to see more, why don't you subscribe to our channel? We would really appreciate it. And also, make sure you turn on your notifications because then if you do, you'll be the first one to actually see our video. And lastly, again, if you like the video, why don't you like the video? Okay, thank you very much.